What's going on, everybody? It's back. John from the Gamer here. Welcome you back to another episode of Saga Lock. We're going to jump right into this. I think we got this all fine and dandy. We're going to go talk to this little dude who's going to give us a card key. Hopefully, we're not for it. I don't know. I didn't claim our items correctly. Woo! Hashtag not clearing items. It's the best. Also, um, I have no idea what the heck we're actually... Oh, wait. I just realized something. Have I been doing something the wrong way? I think I have been. Sound setting. Yeah, I have been. Oopsies. I figured out why the audio has been or it was not mixed 100% well in yesterday's episode. Hold on. Let's fix it. Um, That's funny. I don't know how I didn't catch that, but I, here I am not catching things that I should have caught. Like, I was like, I don't know if, if it's just me or it's like things have been feeling like a lot more, a lot louder. No, not the mixer, not the mixer. I want to change. No, it, I guess this will work too. Maybe. Yeah, that's, that's, that's better. I think. Although I kind of want to, I'll do that later. But yeah, that's so much better. Oh my god. And you guys can actually hear what's happening. We're fighting me, but I really don't care. It's level 20. Oh god, maybe I should have cared because I didn't heal up. Please, please, please. I guess me doesn't have anything until like level 29 or 30 or whatever level it is. So I should, I'm not, there's no reason to be too terribly worried. But still, I didn't heal up correctly and that's my fault. Kakuna, Matata. Get out, get troll out here, because I believe that it said poison was super fighting against bug, which is not actually the case in real life, but it is in this game, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, next time you see troll in episode number 16, he's gonna be a muck. Yes, okay. Um, so I'm super excited to have an actual, like, a muck on the team. Um, because yeah, this episode you won't be, because today we're going to get through Giovanni, um, and we're gonna get through Lavender Tower, so. Honestly, a big episode in terms of story. Oh, I need to talk to him. Oh, no. I dropped the lift key. Oh, no. Did you really? I didn't notice. And then t another TM. Okay. Okay. So, we'll take that. Yeah, but we got to look at our items, clear some items, sell some items. You know, typical bag management because this game, you actually really need bag management. If you don't have bag management, you're in apparel. Um, so, yeah. We don't want to be in peril. So... Because we don't want to be in peril, bag management is importante. And so, yeah. So, we're going to get... We've got past this. We got the key. So, this will be super easy. Like I said, I am not worried. Sorry, you're going to hear speed up. It's just the kind of the nature of the slowest moving tiles ever. Um, as I messed... Uh, uh, I probably actually didn't mess up. Whatever. Uh... Okay, it did not matter either way. I'm at, okay, I'm like trying to figure out these puzzles, and I like am spending way too long on them when it they really don't need that much explanation to them. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hit up this elevator, go to the right floor that we need to go to, because now that we got the lift key, we can do that. We're gonna go to basement floor and number four, because we haven't been to that basement floor yet. And we're gonna open it up, and everything will be all fine and dandy. We're gonna get this all set up. Um, let's go ahead and heal up. Timmy, get Timmy all leveled up. Because I believe we have hyper potions now, too. Yeah, those 72 rare candies, that was a me th well, that was an oof on my part. I level up via rare candies. Um, I am, very, like I said, I am very open about it. And it's because, well, you know, when you have college, when you have um, school, when you have, well, that is college. Uh, when you have a part-time job plus trying to do streams and everything, you kind of don't have the time. <laughs> Um, to a lot to this. Now, of course, when this becomes my full-time job, um, now I say when, but, like, if it becomes my full-time job at some point, or, like, still a part-time, like, a better part-time job, um, without school, um, you know, it's better to, uh, level up without using rare candies, but 
you know, here's how I excuse it. It makes my runs harder because I'm not giving the, getting the EVs I need. So, realistically, if we're going to justify it, I am punishing myself by doing it. So, positive note there, at least. Um, that's a way we can excuse it. Like, actually, funny enough, I saw Lin's and Tobin's uh, sleep block. Not sleep block. Uh, Lin's had a sleep block, though, um, yesterday. Um, AKA the day I'm recording this, and that's awesome. I'm super excited for her. Um, I really like Linz as a Poketuber, and I hope that she, like, stays within the community and does a whole bunch of stuff. She's just celebrated her two-year anniversary, which, you know, that's awesome. That is extremely amazing, and I'm super happy for her. I was gonna go on another tangent, but, you know, there was no reason to go on that tangent. But, yeah, no, Linz, like I said, is an amazing Poketuber. I hope to see her more in the community and you know we love we love Linz. we also love tobin can't forget tobin um i just it was Linz's time to shine for a minute but tobin also does a lot of amazing things um as well but no Linz out here and it's ex exciting like it's exciting to like get it kind of nice fresh i mean they're doing a soul link right now and you know it, it's lovely it's lovely like I, the, the aspect of a couple doing a soul link I don't know why I've never thought that that would be a great idea, but it totally is. <laughs> like, it really, really is. It gets them some bonding time along with the fact that, you know, they're doing a, working on an amazing project together. Like, there's a lot of positives that go to that. Also, should I use an elixir? Me debating if I overuse Timmy and putting Timmy in the spotlight might not be a great idea. <laughs> Uh, putting Timmy in the spotlight is probably not the best idea, but we're going with it anyway. But yeah, no, after this, I'm going to post the, the latest episode, uh, do my discussion boards for communications, and then probably stream. That is the plan, you know. Um, because while I do my discussion boards, the actual video is going to post. So, mm, who do I... I'm going to lead with B. Get get Timmy some backseat time, cause Timmy's only 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 34, 34. I don't know what level the Giovanni fight is, but I'm assuming around thirty. Um, as Giovanni's gonna lead with the gloom, yeah. So 29, 29, and thirty-two. That's that's fair. But yeah, no. Honestly, I'm super excited about this area. This area is gonna be crazy cool. Um. And yeah, we're gonna, like I said, we're going to take on Lavender Town, Lavender Tower, which shouldn't take us very much either. So honestly, I think we're in a very good spot, especially now that we can just fly all four of the spots. We haven't gone to uh, whatever town yet. We haven't gone to Fuchsia yet, but we'll be able to just... What, we'll, what my plan is, is to just take Cycling Road... I don't know. It's, it's, this sounds like a good plan. Let me know if it's wrong. Take Cycling Road. Get the Cycling Road encounter. Um, we're going to get our Lavender Town encounter here in this episode. Um, the tower and the Route 12. So that way we can be Lavender Tower and then go down Cycling Road in the next episode to take on Koga. To then go to Saffron. To then... Like, I've got a plan. I've got a plan of attack. Surprise! John actually has a plan of attack for once in his life. We're fighting another Dragonite. Um, and so, having this plan of attack might be able to just blow this episode, these episodes out of the water. Because, um, like I said, if we're taking this on today, which that was a nice crit, by the way. Um, but, yeah. Like, me having a plan of attack is just glorious. I love when I can be like, oh yeah, we got this. Also, I love how Giovanni's name was Christine, by the way. That was that was amazing. Um, actually... Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to sift through our items. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find a trash TM real quick. Water gun. Okay, that's a trash TM. Seeing that's also trash... Quick attack, not so trash. I think I'd actually be fine teaching that to, uh, oh, it says not able. Apparently your boy can't read. Um, I'm going to teach it to Timmy then. 
And we're gonna get rid of uh, Double Slap. Because I'd rather barrage. And then we get the cell scope. I'm actually curious. Can I escape rope out of here? Will it let me? Oh, wait. I still don't have that, do I? How much do you want to bet I still don't have it with me? Oh! We found out uh, a couple episodes ago that I was stupid and totally um, cough, cough, cough. Forgot to... Uh, bring the escape rope with me, which is what caused the other three deaths. Good job, John. Surprise. I did that. So, oh, no. But yeah, so I'm not surprised that I did that at all, but I'm hoping that we can eradicate that issue. So I need to, I need to go through and do some bag management, especially if we're going to go to uh, Lavender Town. Because Lavender Town is very notorious for having items and items that are good. So we're going to do some bag management after our cut here. Because, um, yes, I'm actually going to make a cut um, and just do bag management to the cut uh, or through the cut. Oh, God. I guess hyper that was that had to be in the 1 and 256 glitch because I don't think Hyperfane can actually miss. Because, you know, we stand the 1 and 256 glitch. But, yeah. I mean, I have to go to the bathroom anyway. So, this cut actually works out way better than anticipated. But, yeah. So, I'm going to switch Troll into the front. And then, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and do that after we take on this doodly dude that we have to take on. That, you know, Jonas is smart enough to take him on first. Um, so, that's nice. Um, I should have learned from his run but you know i didn't so surprise um yeah so i'm doing a whole slew of things out of order i just used poison sting like flamethrower on golduck hello no 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 i at least that's resisted too so it doesn't really matter but Okay, so yeah, so we beat this gold duck, and I think that's the only- Oh, no, you have one more. Okay, dang it. I'm like, I'm me, hoping that was the only one. Uh... Gotta go into Maximus, because it's part water, right? So. But yeah, we'll make a cut here in a second. I'm like, I have to go badly, but I don't want to leave it. I want to leave it at a cut point. It's like, yes, okay, that's fine. Okay, there we go. We finally hit a good a good cut point here. Um, so twelve fifty-four. And I will meet you guys at Lavender Town. Cause literally nothing can go wrong. Okay, we're back in action, we're back in action. Okay, so you know. I told you this was going to be a cut episode where, like, random things get cut all over the place. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go to take on this Tower of Lavender and just kind of nail things from here. Um, I am tired. It is 1130 at night because, you know, I took, like, eight hours of break for no reason. Yay. Um, in the time that we, um, whew, in the time that we trained up, I did, uh, train up Carter. So Carter is now evolved. Um, we level or we bought the Thunderstone. We evolved him. I figured, you know, we all knew that was gonna happen, so I would just do it off screen. Um, Jonas is gonna lead off with an Al Um, which honestly, now that Carter's a Raichu, Carter hopefully will just blast through everything. Carter, you underwhelmed me, and it makes me upset. Like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god are you kidding me okay uh i guess i don't even know who to go into i guess we go into maximus because i mean marowak uh, Mar this is like our team i love how awkward our team is our i feel like our team has to be like one of the most awkward teams ever and we're getting like i said we're getting towards the end we've got one one episode to get to for koga two episodes for sabrina one for or two for Blaine, one for the eighth, 
and then one for Victory Road. So seven episodes, and that's it, of this Kanto region. Now, mind you, that means you do get to kill a lot of Pokemon, and so that's going to be unfortunate for me. But in all reality, I don't know who you're going to kill, and as long as you guys kill something before I enter the Elite Four, I can grind it up. So, you know, <coughs> it's a win. Um, no matter kind of what happens. Although, for Tarot, it's not a win because that means that um, their mon's gonna be in the box until literally the end. Uh, but hey, you know, it's not like... Also, I'm not teaching Crab Hammer um, because it's actually not that good. Um, and Blastoise, let's have Carter. Here's the Blastoise that, you know, we were talking about how Jonas was going to have an eventual Blastoise and how ironic it was. Well, here it is at level 29 because apparently it evolved really early. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Now we got Carter to deal with it. So we Gucci. Honestly, like I said, electric types are just so good. I knew I was going to get Carter on the team at some point. I just didn't know when or how. And so, I guess we figured out the win slash how when Carter was going to be on the team. So, that's awesome. And we are going to go ahead and hopefully get a solid encounter up here. My guess, if I were to take a random stab at what Pokemon I would have. Also, I'm going to try and avoid like most of these trainers because honestly, I don't really care about them. I'll only fight... We still haven't even gotten our encounter. And the the, the um the, the Marowak is static. So the Marowak counts as a static encounter. Just so y'all know. So technically we don't have to worry about that either. Um <clears throat> We don't have a ground type, correct? I'm not being stupid about that. Correct. I'm not being stupid about that. Good. Um then we're gonna send MB because again, I want have I wanna have Timmy chill in the back because I think honestly I don't know who the target is right now, um, as far as who y'all are wanting to kill. And it scares the living daylights into having none of that knowledge, right? Because, obviously, when you don't have the knowledge of who you may or may not kill, you're just like, uh, whoa. Because Troll is going to eventually become a muck. If he survives this episode, he's a muck. Just plain and simple. And so it's scary to me not knowing this. Because like I said, he is a muck, plain and simple, um, if he makes it past this episode. Because honestly, I might as well go through Cycling Road um, at some point too. Because I think I can actually get through Cycling Road extremely fast if I go a certain way. So, ooh, a Leaf Stone. And if I can go through Cycling Road super fast... Oh, I feel like you battle me. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Yeah, if I, get so, if I get through Cycling Road fast enough, then we can include that in the video, and then we can just end up not even having to worry about the episode to get to Koga. And our encounter here is a Beedrill. Okay. Beedrill ain't bad. It's a good bug type, and it's something that I would love to carry through. Um, but like I said, in order to have the Pokemon get carried through, they have to have gone to a gym and or not excuse me not gone to a gym. oh my god they have to go through the entire elite force so it would not be easy to carry um, a bee drill through the elite four to have it go through especially because I have to make it go through four different generations to make it actually good so honestly it's not really that great but it's something to play for um because I actually, I'm one of the few people that actually like Beedrill as a Pokemon. I think that Beedrill has a lot of positives to it that not a lot of people actually see or value. Um, and so when that happens, come on, Beedrill. But, like, I love you. I literally am saying that I love you. Like, why don't you love me? Uh, oh, my God. Uh, you need to love me more, Beedrill. Like, uh, you make me so upset. Uh, I'm just going to kill you. I don't. I, I tried to care about you, but you didn't care about me, so uh, bye. Also, I better have antidotes. Yes, I have one left. So, yeah, that was our encounter, and we lost it. So that's fine, though, because, again, getting through this area not going to be too difficult, too terribly difficult. 
You went through the protected zone. You are fully healed. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I can't. No. Are you kidding me right now? Oh. I am just saddened by all of the generations. If you actually get that quote, y'all are staying on this channel. I'm just gonna say that right now. If y'all get that quote, I appreciate you. I know Jonas gets that quote, but Jonas is the only person I actually know that would get that quote. Um, cause that quote is a four-year quote, um, and it wasn't even by me. So, ah, oh, that—that's the second time. That is straight up the second time that that has happened. We really missing? Stop, don't miss. I can't believe that's the second time that's happened. But yeah, we have the best bug move in Gen 1, so you know what? We'll take it. Uh, Magnemite. Again, I just want a full functioning team. And like, I want everybody to feel like everybody can be used. And I think that's honestly, that's the strategy I'm going for in this series is to make everyone feel like they're valid and usable because if i think I, in my thought process if i make everyone feel valid and usable everybody is a target obviously if i you know brought tarot out tarot would be the target and i think that's a strategy for going to elite four because then that kills a mon that like doesn't necessarily hasn't been used now mind you the pokemon only carry their e our ivs they don't even carry their evs anyway so it doesn't matter um uh, if i use them a lot or if i don't use them a lot because they only carry the ivs with them when they go from game to game um oh speaking there's a magneton so i don't know i think my strategy here is decent i think what i've got going is kind of what i have to have going um, in, in order to win and you know, obviously the goal anytime is to win But I still am nervous. I still don't know Exactly how this is gonna go. I don't know which three mons are gonna die um, Plus we're still a long way away from actually being able to you know Completely tell who's gonna win or who's gonna make it because we still have well that if that crits trolls dead um, and we still I got rid of thunder on mine for thunderbolt <laughs> at least we're getting a level 30 static one anyway but <laughs> oh my god that that was great oh my <laughs> oh that's got I gotta have an intro moment like I usually don't have intro moments I I just I don't know I just usually, I just don't, it's not my thing. I need to work on them if I'm gonna, whew, oh my god. I need to work on intro moments if I'm going to, like, compete with a lot of the bigger YouTubers, but, oh my gosh. Okay, our, our uh, static encounter is a... 
a Sea King. Not bad. If I can throw a Pokeball at it. Oh, this Pokemon cannot be caught. Oh. Well, then it's dead. I cannot believe I called that. What the heck? Like, how? Well, so much for having a muck, right? Like, we were talking up having a muck. Uh, we just, we need a ground type on the team. Which I don't think we've even... Ooh, the experience. Words that I forget. I can't say on YouTube now. That I could, like, three months ago. I could. Well, actually, technically I could say it. But, like, why would I risk demonetization for it? Risking demonetization for a meme doesn't sound like me. Okay, um, Chansey die, please. 789 for Carter and B. Uh, Sandrew... Also, how is Ma Maximus is our longest surviving team member, I think. I think, actually, I think Maximus is our longest. No, Timmy is. Timmy's our starter. That was a speaking of start. Uh, that's a crabby. Um, so Timmy, obviously, we have our starter still. Thank God. Um, yeah, no, I'm very curious to see who you guys are going to kill. Because I think Carter, just like um, Mega, is going to have so much spotlight. And if you guys use the same strategy as last time, you're not going to kill Carter. Um, although, I don't know if... You, I, I'm sure y'all have seen the damage that Raichu's done in Monthlock. Time and time and time and time again. And I think that might sway you into choosing Raichu. Um... But we'll see about that, because I don't know. I'm just I'm genuinely curious. Obviously, the entire team's gonna go up to level 44. Um, so I'm very I'm very curious to see what you guys are gonna pick, considering you know this, that because um, by that time it'll like I said it'll be about elite four time. Um, I think Adam has a very high likelihood being the only one with an ice type move. Like it could be anybody. And I, like I said, I'm just I'm genuinely and purely excited just to see kind of. Who gets picked? Because, like, who is chat wanting to die? And, again, that ultimately becomes the question of, who is chat going to kill? Why would chat kill them? And that's, I, that's, this is why I think this has been my favorite series. Is it's not only the audience reactions and you guys just killing it on the side of, like, just everything. Like, and when, and when I mean everything, I mean everything when it comes to, like, you know, commenting, liking, um, haven't had as many subscribers, but, you know, subscribers will come. We all know that that will. Um, but, yeah, like. Yeah, I like, I just I love this series. I love the way that everybody loves it as well. I love that um, I can just, oh, shoot. I'm curious how much damage this is going to do. This is going to be, like, what, half? Not even. But you're locked into Thrash, so we're good. We got this. Not even a crit kill, so. Yeah, no. It's unfortunate we lost, uh. Muck, uh, Troll. Because, you know, it's gonna be hard to get Troll back. But we'll, we'll try our hardest to get Troll back. Because we love, we love Troll. Um, and Troll's the one that kind of. Like, him and I built the series, um, and he was gonna do it until he stopped doing YouTube, um, and he was gonna do it as a live series, but I would, I wanted it to do it as a video series, like, uh, that's what I like, and I think I'm really happy that I chose to do a video series. I know that, you know, this is, we've had our first late episode, no, this is gonna be our second, um, because you're gonna get probably a double upload today, um, because your boy John forgot that he had a video uploaded. Um, and so I have to do the thumbnail, and then I gotta edit this video, and then I gotta do some schoolwork. Schoolwork comes first, obviously, that's always the, been the case. So once I do my schoolwork, um, then I will do that. But, uh, my keyboard's not working, and so I'm like, I don't know how to deal with that, so. Here, give me the flute, please.
Oh, I need to make room for it. Of course I do. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, there we go. That'll be that'll make room for it. Got to get rid of our regular potion. This will allow you to catch um whatever it's called. Well, this is a perfect note to end the episode on. I am gonna actually pick the Pokemon I want off screen. Um, train everybody up to level forty eight because we can do that now. Or uh, not actually yeah forty. I'll go forty six or forty something. We'll figure out what we can get it get it to. Um, but yeah, um, because we're gonna go ahead and just take on Cycling Road. It'll be very quick. But just I'm gonna dodge all the trainers there. Um, I think the only thing it will actually impede is my encounter. But yeah, hope you all have a wonderful day. Love you all so much. Peace.